we are getting some kind of losses on the combined harvesters issue how does a combined harvester work what are the advantages then why are we getting the decline of the employment opportunities because of a machine that we are going to analyze it now let us see here the combined harvesters are the machines which were discovered in order to process major work which is done in the agriculture to ensure it is done in a single stretch let us see here combined harvesters do the work of harvesting they do the harvesting then they do the threshing and they even clean the grains from the chaff and after doing all these three activities most of the used work is done in the paddy fields which is a very risky and high tough job which needs more of the agricultural laborers to be employed for us and the second option is that even after this work is done it takes many days for the people to clean everything to clear the paddy fields and all these things and then they ensure they go for the second crop but because of this machine of combined harvester which is in short form known as ch does the second crop without much delay here and once this is done immediately we can move on to the second crop in this way the combined harvester does all the major activities which are required for doing agriculture and with very few employees or just nominal employees we can have a larger part of the agriculture done in a major scale now how does this cross loss because it is impacting directly but why the people most of them are preferring to have it in the process of having agricultural laborers even though many of them knew that it is going to create loss for the people because at the end of the day if we own any particular land we would try to expect profits as well as in the larger margins within our own lands by reducing the labor output let us see here what is the opportunities that we are getting here because of combined harvesting the combined harvesting advantages are this per acre of land it saves the wastage of 1 quintal it is a study which was made in april, uh, in april 2003 about the combined harvesters where we got the statistics of this for every acre you get 1 quintal of extra production which is got wasted because of the the present scenario of the agricultural laborers because of the human beings doing the work and the machine doing the work you get major advantage in this production and the second one is even if you rent the combined harvester the ch for per day you can get it rupees 1100 to 1400 per day even most of the owners do this by renting it outside they get it advantages so even if you don't use for your own purpose you can rent it outside and get certain amount of money and then moving on one acre of land can be done by ch within one hour of time which is a major task which needs many employees we have a short example for that in order to understand the importance and the growing technology in fact on the lives let us see here five employees are appointed for clearing one acre of land it takes four days of time if 10 employees are appointed it takes two days of time but if you have a ch the combined harvester in one hour you can clear the one acre of land and you can clear another 10 acres of land if if you pay 1100 to 1400 which is very much less when compared to employing five employees or 10 employees in the respective days if you have an example see here if 250 employees are appointed to clear 1000 acres of land and in opposite to that if you have a combined harvester when we compare it the combined harvester will do the work continuously for 18 hours and it can finish the task of clearing the 1000 acres of land in just 55 days whereas the employees even though you increase the number of the employees it takes minimum of 100 to 120 days where when it compared to the combined harvester to the employers there is a difference of 80 days where the people are losing the job opportunities for 80 days in this way the advancements and the technologies have broken the employment opportunities of the people the people lost their importance in their day to day works the combined harvesters have replaced them what is the major impact in their lifestyles because once you are not assured the employment opportunities where earlier people used to demand for better wages they never used to work for an year long annual payments of three bag grains or four bag grains they started to demand better wages when we have a better demand for the agricultural labor 
yes it does not provide security for the agricultural laborers but during the time of peak hours it increases their importance and the owner wishes to pay more amount as per the need but now the scenario has completely changed there is no job for a person on the agricultural field except he owns his own land so these people started to move on to other places in search of jobs yes we got the new alternative of jobs that is in case of the repair stations or refilling stations or the adjustment stations for the combined harvesters are set up in some points of the villages but these kind of opportunities are not sufficient to withhold the population in the villages in class 7 we have discussed about the family of called jagataya jagataya's family completely depends on the weaving industry we have done a detailed case study about the jagataya's life and the how the earning of jagataya would be by weaving a sari how his entire family is helping him in order to lead a better and prosperous life but even the entire family works for many days together and even the women in the family employ him and assist him whenever they need him but they could not lead a pleasant and happy life in competition with them in this way we have the weaving industry coming or the textile industry coming with an employment opportunities of nearly 10 crore families depending on the textile industries as we move on the second largest employer in india is the textile industry 80% of people depend on agriculture and next most number of people after agriculture depend on the textile industries as we move on further we have the competition of the textile industries coming with the power loom projects or the power loom clusters these power looms are introduced by the britishers the britishers have brought some new technology or changes in the weavers side they have introduced the power loom clusters and later which were turned into mills now we have the comparison of the mills and the power loom clusters in this competition of the mills and the power loom clusters the importance of the weaver has completely gone down earlier weavers are of high pride and they have a good cost for their production what they were produced earlier but now because of the clusters what we have got from the power loom cluster and the advancement of the factories into mills have brought a drastic changes let us have a view on the comparison of the power looms and the mills see here the power looms clusters are the clusters which are employed in very few people or the close family members will be employed for them and they have very few machinery under their control in a small place you can set up a power loom center or a cluster but when we move on to mill we have large number of power loom units under a single head and running and in order to produce huge number of products and larger in production aspects we have many number of employees more when compared to the power loom clusters mills employ employees in thousands and in hundreds whereas the power loom clusters employ only in tens or their family members and moving on to the next one we have the power loom having small in number all the aspects when compared to the mills what does the mills actually produce of the mills actually produce various varieties of items in competition with the power loom clusters let us see here mills produce the shirtings they produce the various kinds of shirts of various cloths like cotton silk synthetic yarn fabric in that way then they also produce the shootings which are of the shooting styles where on the various styles and fabrics again we have the varieties in the synthetic cotton silk and all these things they have a mixture blended also then moving on to the sarees again we have the different varieties of sarees produced from the mills and as you all know there are various other different styles also new styles coming in in the sarees then we have the dhotis different dhotis produced by the mills moving on to the towels chadars blankets and all these things are produced by the mills mills use their raw materials like from cotton blended synthetic silk wool and yarn so the power looms have to face a very tough competition from the mills how are the power looms established who brought the power looms concept into our nation what is the impact of the power looms on the traditional indian weaver we'll see now